Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum. Good morning, students. How are you today? Are you all well? Okay. Are you ready to learn maths now? So you pay attention and focus. Okay. Let us begin. Today we are going to learn numbers, counting numbers to ten thousand. Okay. Today you are going to recap your times table. So, first of all, you multiply two times six, which is twelve. Ten times three. I hope you remember. It's thirty. How about three times three? Nine. How about one times eight? Eight. Very good. Now we move on to six times three, which is eighteen. Good. Now two times four, easy. Eight. How about four times five? Do you remember? It's twenty. And six times ten is sixty. And the last one is three times four, which gives you the answer of. Well, well done all. If you are not remembering this all, you can memorize starting today. You have to memorize your times table, okay? Before that, we like to tell you our rules and the reminders for our online class. Remember, during online, you have to keep quiet, all right? And dress for your. Online learning, you use school uniform or be attire of our school, and then be on time. If you are early, is better. Ten minutes earlier also okay, and then you must prepare yourself with pencil and a paper. You mute your microphone when the and you turn your camera on. Do not drink or eat during the class, okay, as usual, and you have to pay attention. Okay. Don't play with the computer or other devices during lesson, and you have to respect each other. All right, and you can have fun while learning. Okay. The objectives of today's topic is to for you to identify numbers to ten thousand. And then you can write down in words all numbers that we give correctly, and also for you to write in numerals the numbers given in words correctly. So you're going to learn this today, how to do these things all, okay? All right. Before we start, also this topic, we have to know the blocks that we use, okay? Representing the numbers, like the block that I show you today from Dennis block, the first one, the red color, it's thousand. It represents thousand, and the next one represents hundred. Okay, is a hundred spaces, and the next one represents ten, and the last one, one each, represents ones. So you have to remember this all. Thousand, hundred, tens, and ones. Now let's let us look at some examples of how to do this. All right, I've given you blocks there in the box, so we have to count it. Okay, how many are there all together? You write in words and numerals. I've given you the numerals. So a look at the red one, the thousands. This represent only one block. That means it's one thousand. The hundreds it gives you three, three of the hundreds. So this is three hundreds, and there is none for the tens. And then we have a small ones here. You count it one, two, three, four, five. So there are five altogether. So you write this in numerals one thousand. And then three hundred, none of the tens, so you you put zero, 
and then you put 5 as 1. So 1,305. So in words, you write down 1,305. Do you understand that? Or do you have any question to ask? You can ask later. All right. Okay, now I'm, I'm going to show you more examples of writing in words and in numerals by looking at the picture that I've given you here. So you know now that you now know that there are thousand, hundred, tens, and ones. Now you count the thousand. How many are there? There are three blocks of thousand, so it is three thousand. And then two blocks of hundreds is two hundreds. And two blocks of ten, so it is twenty. And then three blocks of one, so it's three. So you write down like this. Three thousand, two hundred, and twenty-three. So in words, we write down three thousand, two hundred, and twenty-three. Okay? Now I want to show you uh, an easier steps to remember. Maybe some of you have difficulty in doing this. So if you want to count the number, you take the last three number. The last three number is 8, 2 and 1. Okay? These are the last three numbers. Why I'm telling you this? Because the third number is definitely a 100. So it's easy for you to remember. Alright? You count from the back. From the last one. The last three. So after the third number, you can always say it belong to 100. So in words, you say 3,000. And then this one is 100, right? 3,128. So it is easy for you to remember. You just count from the back three numbers from the back so of the third number it is a hundred so it's a hundred and twenty eight you just add up the three thousand in front so three thousand one hundred and twenty eight understand okay let's move on to the next okay let us see more examples of doing this now before you write down in words you take the last three number that is 4, 7, and 3. So 3 is the third number, so it belongs to 100. So you say this, 374. But we have a 1,000 here. So you can add the 2,000 in front. Okay. So in words you say, 2,000, which is here, 374. Easy, isn't it? You just count from the back until the third one okay okay i give you more example but this time you're going to do this yourself first i give you one minute to do it by using the easier technique that i teach you just now done all right let's take the last three numbers that is eight one and six so you know already that 6 is the third number from the last one. So 6 is a 100. So you write down in words, 1,000, okay, the one that we do, 1,680. Now it becomes very easy now, okay? Good. Now let us look at the place value. We know already... The place value for every numbers that we've learned just now. Now we're going to say the place value. Okay, I've given you a numbers there, 2753. So the place value for number 2 is at 1000. Okay, so when we ask you a question, where, what is the place value of 2? So your answer is 1000. Alright? Or two thousands, and then how about the seven? You know, already the third number from the back, it is seven hundred, right? 
And how about number five? It is tens. The place value is ten. And the last one, three, is the place value once. Okay? So you understand already? If we give you a question like this, place value, so you answer. If the place value for five, so you answer ten. Okay? How about place value of seven? It's a hundred. Alright? Understand? Okay, good. The same goes to this question. Fill in the numbers correctly. I've given you 9,174. So, <clears throat> the place value for 9, definitely thousands. And then hundreds is number 1. How about the tens? Number 7. And ones, number 4. So, it's very easy. Okay? Good. You understand. Now, there are more questions about place value. Place value. Look at the question. When you do uh, maths, you have to read the instructions very well before you answer. Alright, this question asks you to give the correct place value for each of the underlined numbers. That means you look at the underlined numbers that I've given you, the first one. The underlined number is 9. So... What is the place value for 9? Can anyone? Yes. It stands. Well done. How about the next one? You only have 3 digit number there. So what is the number that is underlined? The place value for number 6. Remember, you count from the back. Is 3 steps. From the back. So the third one is hundreds. Well done. Now look at the next one. Two. The underline number two. So what is the place value for that? Yes. Thousands. And the last one. Underline number five. What is the place value? Can you tell? So it is one. Very good. Well done, all of you. Now, this question, you read the instruction first. It says, give the correct value for each of the underlying numbers. What is the difference between uh, previous question with this one? This one, it says value. Before, it says place value. Okay? You have to know this too. So, value is like this. You look at the first number, 592. The underlying, underlying number is number 9. So, the value for that is 9090. You write down like that, okay? If place value, remember, you write down in sentences. But if it's the only value, you write down the zero. Okay? Now, for the next question, can you guess? What is the value of 1 in the number of 1,638? Yes, it is 1,000. 1, 0, 0, 0. Okay? And the next one, I think you know how to do this already. The number that is underlined, number 2. So the value should be... Yep, correct. 200. And the next one, 6. What is the value for that? It is only 6 because there is no number after 6. 6 is a place value for 1s. Okay? So you write down 6 only. And the last one, number 8. The number that is underlined is 8. So what is the value? Value. It is 80. Very good. You understand now, all of you? Well done. Okay, class, I think that's all for today. Thank you for listening and paying attention. I hope you can remember this and then you can do a few classwork the next lesson. Okay? If you have any question, you can ask me or you can private chat me. Thank you, class.